Thanks everybody. So again, I'm Doug Soltes. I'm from Cloudian. I'm oh, sorry. I'm from Storage Made Easy, and we are a Cloudian partner. And so today, what I'm going to tell you about is how Storage Made Easy works with the Cloudian Hyperstore product. If my clicker, ah, will advance me to the next slide. So you're in the Cloudian booth, and I just want to start off with making sure everybody knows what Cloudian does. Cloudian is a scale-out object storage system. They do 100% compatible Amazon S3 storage. It's highly available. Every node is always active. It is the most tolerant system you're going to find out there for durability. You can lose drives. You can lose entire nodes. You're never going to lose a piece of data. And look, at the end of the day, let's see, maybe I have to get closer for my, uh, for my clicker to work. At the end of the day, it's probably the most cost-effective option that the SME works with. You're talking pennies per gigabyte a month. So now that I've sold you on Cloudian, you're probably wondering, how does Cloudian fit into my, my workflow, right? So you want to have the storage, you want to have it at the center, and that's where SME comes in. SME, skip to the next slide. There we go. SMEs may help you with your asset acquisition. So you have assets, and how do you get them into your system? How do you get them on the Cloudian? If you have partners that are putting assets into Amazon S3 buckets, we have a connector for that. If you have partners that are putting it into Google, we have a connector for that. Microsoft, Office 365, Web Dev, SFTP, there we go. FTP with TLS, you name the protocol, SME works with we have 60 plus different cloud and on-premise protocols to move media assets into your hyperstore system or between them. Now the most important thing is we do not proprietize the data when we do this. So you don't want to have proprietary data formats. At the end of the day, there are a number of other products out there that when they pull the data in, they're going to store it on the hyperstore, but you're not going to be able to have other systems work with it. And so at SME, we believe in file in, object out, or object in, file out. Either way, you're covered. And so let's look at a quick example here. So you're taking SME, you're pulling in some event data, maybe they've put some sport media footage up on, on S3, you're pulling it into a, a bucket locally, and in that bucket, now you want to transcode it. And so other systems out there, such as you know Vantage or um, Elemental, um, FFmpeg are going to be able to recognize that, also work completely native with the S3 protocol, transcode it, and then we'll be able to move it to wherever it needs to go. Now, because we're working with media assets, it's really important that we do this quickly. So I'm sure that a number of you already have other systems out there that are doing file transport acceleration. And so you're probably wondering, well, how does this play in? Well, we have our own file transport acceleration as well. We call it mStream. What mStream is going to do is whether you're moving that data between Cloudian and SIFS or NFS or another cloud system, we're going to accelerate that transfer. Or if you're moving the data, say, down to your local Mac, we're going to accelerate that as well by opening up a number of concurrent streams. That's going to help you with your concurrency, your latency. Everything is handled in the file fabric. And when you're using the file fabric, it's probably important to have a nice, simple to use interface. So we started off as an enterprise file sync and share. We have a, a great um, web interface. In the web interface, what you're going to see is all of the different assets that you have availability to. So you're going to be able to control SIF shares, your Cloudian shares, Cloudian hyperfile SIFs, your SSD accelerated NASs, everything from a single pane of glass. You right click, you tell it move some assets from here to there, it's an HSM, it's going to move it in the background, nothing's flowing through your laptop. And again, because we don't proprietize the data, where it lands, now you can have things like your transcoders just start working against that natively, and then we can move it back when the job is complete. Now, not everybody likes to use the web, and we acknowledge that. And so we have agents for Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android. And with these agents, you're going to get the same view. You're going to be able to map that cloud storage as, say, a network drive, an S drive. Now, this is not SIFS or NFS. It's going to work absolutely anywhere you go because we're using our own RESTful API. And so you can see I have the exact same files and folders and shares. If I go into one of these folders, like you know my, my Cloudian um, hyperfile system, and I pick a, a media asset I have, and I decide that I want to move it to you know something like a, a pure storage, even though I'm doing this through a Windows interface, it's going to still create that background task handling. And then, of course, we know that 
we're at NAB. There's a lot of Mac love. We love Mac too. And so the same thing, you're able to take our system and map it as a local drive. And again, this is going to cover you anywhere you go. Same thing for iOS, Android, Linux. Now that you have the assets acquired, it wouldn't be a talk without talking about metadata. So Cloudian's big on metadata and so are we. Here's what we have. We have an advanced metadata system that's going to take your assets and it's going to scan them. It's going to pick up things like file name, size, all your standard stuff. But any of your media assets that have accompanying scripts, documents, PowerPoints, PDFs, we're going to do what we call a deep search in that. We're going to take all of the metadata out of it, all of the wording. So now when you go to do a search and you're looking for a particular asset related to a, a certain scene, a certain cut, you can search for that line of script. And if that line of script is in the same folder with a document, we're going to be able to direct you to that. And then we're going to be able to do advanced tagging and other metadata features based on that. Of course, security is of top importance. So everything we do is going to be over HTTPS. We're talking TLS 1.2, uh, 1.1. We're eliminating, you know, unless you really want it, 1.0, because then you, you violate PCI DSS. Not that you guys have those <laughs> requirements here. We're going to discover the, the data in your system that's through that advanced um, deep content search. We're going to be able to allow you to set rules, ACLs, and whatnot um, based on that and based on the individual folder that it's in. We're going to identify who's been touching your files. So every time there's an action, every time we move the data, every time a user downloads the file, you're going to know who touched it, where they touched it from, what IP address, which of our tools they were using, whether that's the Mac tool, the Windows tool. You know, I have a complete audit trail, and that audit trail is going to be available for either download, you can put it into a syslog server, we have an event stream, or we have an API in case maybe you're using something like a Splunk to, to analyze all of your log-based data. And then lastly, now that you have the assets in and you're working with them, you want to share them. So maybe the asset's not finished, maybe it is finished, and you want to have that kind of Dropbox functionality. Now, of course, you can give a license to one of your partners and, and they can just use our native tools, or you can right-click on an asset and say, you know what, I want to share this and I want to share it with one person. It can be downloaded one time. I want to password protect it. And of course, the entire thing is going to be audited. And so in a nutshell, what SME does is we are part of the Cloudian ecosystem. We're not a transcoder, we're not anything like that. We're going to allow you to work with all the other storage medium that you have available to you from any of the providers here. And that's how we're going to help you make HyperStore at the center of your media asset library. So at this point, I'd certainly thank you for your time.